Yeah, I was that. a French hooker, and, <laughs> I, and I was only allowed to speak three words in French a day. Le oui, oui. <laughs> we love horror movies, man. Horror One movies time I shoved a right French fry right up my ass. <laughs> 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 Loki as me. I'm trying to figure shit out. <laughs> this changed my life forever. It's on the run from the cops. I, ain't gonna I had a sheet of acid in my sock. She be coming through. She be coming. She be, she be coming through. Yeah. She be coming through. She be coming. She be, she be coming through. Yeah. Yeah. She be coming through. She be coming. She be, she be coming through. Yeah. Yeah. She be coming through. Hey. Welcome to Gus Podcast. It's Zane Odovizzi. Space Viking. Loki is me. And Ken is a woo girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's the damn what deal? What is the dilly, yo, What's man? up, Orgoons? So we had an option. I think we threw a couple of things in a box and we came out and we had to pick a movie. We swirled it around. We don't know what we're doing. Bucket of wool. You said you loved one and he said he loved the other one. We were yes, going to talk about the unholy... Or martyrs. Or martyrs, martyr. but I said we talk about martyrs. So we picked martyrs out of a martyr. But I watched hat. them both last week and don't know, don't even remember them. You know Damn. how much crystal meth I've done? That's yeah. right. I don't remember shit. But ask him about Black Jennifer's body. But ask him about Jennifer's body, and he won't oh, shut Jennifer's up about body. it for a week. I beat off to Jennifer's body. Every Jesus, night. <laughs> that's crazy. <cool. laughs> Jennifer's body is a since the twelfth grade. Take you haven't seen when the last time you seen it? Jennifer's body uh, yeah. the other day here. I'm talking about Ed Avant Gordon. That Jennifer's body. Oh. Yeah. She be coming through. Yeah, she be coming through. She be coming through. She be coming through. Showing all her wings. (laughs) She be coming through. Showing all her wings. Jennifer's body. So, yeah, I say we do Martyr because you loved it so much. So, one, two, three, podcast. Hey. Oh, my God. I hate when you do that. So, man. (laughs) Hey, man. So, Martyr. Dope, man. Hey, what's so crazy? Oh, shout out to uh, our boy we met at. At, at uh, BB's, oh, yeah, BB's man. man. BB's Cafe, man. Look them up right quick. Yeah, I'm going to pull them up on Instagram. Pull them up on IG, man. Cool Cat. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Come on, man. <laughs> cool Cat at, at BB's. Matter of fact, BB's on West Tama. Don't what about it? We, it's a Cajun restaurant. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? So we talking about the person well, who we, hooked us up with the... Yeah, he, so we he, went... He dropped that gem on us. Me and Zana went to go get some uh, seafood. Okay. And, like yeah. you do. Yeah, and then uh, so the, this guy was like, yo, man, I'm digging those bats on your head. And I was like, oh, that's what's yeah. up. You like horror movies? And he's like, yeah. Hey, bring so his this. profile picture... So I, he, we follow each other on yeah, Instagram. It's Art the Clown. His profile picture... Is Art the Clown? Oh, so he wasn't bullshit, and he really likes. Yeah, nah, he yeah. really on it. Yeah. And so I was like, "Yo, we had Art on the show, man. We had David Howard Dorgan yeah. on the show, and he um, really is about that life." Yeah, his name. Uh, shout out to my boy Zach, Zach Votruba. Yeah, on Instagram, and everyone, he was digging the Mayhem shorts. On yeah, mine, everyone so give him dope. a follow underscore Z A C V O T R U B A. But he was like, "Yo, man, y'all come back through." He hooking he it like, up. So he was like, "Man, I love Terrifier. It was it was my like." One of my favorite movies. And then he was like, you know what my other favorite movie is? He goes, that and Martyrs. And I was like, Martyrs? I had never heard of it. He yeah. goes, yeah, Martyrs. It's French. Yeah. And, you know, we don't, and I hate reading subtitles. So that's probably why I haven't heard of it. But he was like, nah, bro, it's check it, it out. So yeah. so I, 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 we checked it out. We found it on YouTube. And it yeah, was Yeah, shout out to YouTube dog. for the win, man. It was so, so. Shout out to him for the plug. It was yeah. free on YouTube, or yeah. one of those things you had to rent. You had to rent. Yeah, well, yeah, it's rent. free. It's like two ninety nine. If you speak French, but if you wanted the subtitles, you got to pay. Well, it just yeah. so happens I do oh, a little poly blue français myself. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! You from New Orleans, so you should speak a little French. My grandma didn't speak. Spoke only French since she was like thirty or some shit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I was a French hooker, and I I was only allowed to speak three words in French a day. Le oui oui. Oh damn! One time I shoved a French fry up my ass (laughs) 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 with with hot grease. I I, I for real, God, don't make me laugh too hard. I I really do have to shit. Awesome. Oh god damn. So. Martyrs is a 2008 psychological damn, horror that shit film. came out in 2008? Yeah. yeah. God damn. Written by Pascal Lachine. Man, y'all boys are old, man. An, yeah, so... <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you, haven't, if you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend it. So it yeah. starts out, there's a, little chi- there's a little girl, 
and she's running away. Like she's she getting abused. Yeah, she's, she's, she's running from like up. a factory or yeah, something like she, a. It kind of gives you gives you like a like a hostile vibe, right, kind of right off the rip, or a saw type of grind. But I, I like the fact that vibe that, we, off that the you rip. saw that like her come. You like oh shit, what the hell going on in this little this little abandoned look like abandoned yeah. building. It kind of gives you like a saw type vibe. Yeah, off the rip. definitely. Um, and so she's running out. So here's the plot. In 1971, a young girl, Lucy Jurin, escapes from a disused slaughterhouse where she's been imprisoned and tortured for more than a year. Damn. The perpetrators and their motivations remain a mystery. Lucy is placed in an orphanage where she's befriended by a young girl named Anna Asaoui, who quickly discovers that Lucy believes that she's constantly being terrorized by a ghoulish creature, Man. a disfigured, emaciated woman. Even so, Anna comforts Lucy every time she has a nightmare. Fifteen years later, Lucy bursts into the home of an apparently normal well, you family. You basically the whole movie. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> so there I was. Tell- hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, I though. was on the run from the cops I ain't gonna lie, and I had so- a sheet of acid in my sock. So when she uh, when she first went into that house and just started shooting up shit. Yeah, so. And I got, it reminded me of the, uh, the, the old school, the, prof- the professional. And I do it winning that tan shit up. Yeah. So she she goes in. You don't really know what the fuck is going on. Hell no. She goes into this normal family's house. And just start blasting. And starts killing the family. And the kills are up close and personal. Yeah. Shotgun shells through the back, through Low the chest. Are you, are you paying attention to this? Well, yeah, this I'm reading attention. about the wow. I'm reading about the company that made it. Okay. The company that made it. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck they made so it? Is anyways. it a toy? You think Marta's a game? Well, I'm trying to explain to him what happened. <laughs> hey, man, I'm listening he's to every listening. fucking word. He's I'm listening. with you, bro. He's hey, got, he's so, got I'm with you. So I podcast in my sleep, bro. I live <laughs> so behind these microphones, bro. I need to explain bro. this. So she, it's like they're in the Brady Bunch's house, and they're getting ready. They're cooking breakfast, and they're like, what's going on? Uh, and this chick bursts in the house, yeah. and she kills them to make this, like, evil lady creature stop following her, supposedly. Yeah, she thinking that she thinking that the kill is going to... Like, soothe the the demon soul to where like I got back at the person yeah. who she, did this so torturing de- to me. Yeah. Okay. So she so did she come up with that on her she, own? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Basically, well, she's she a, she's things. a nutcase. She see, she sees this demon lady that chases her, and she can't let it rest until she kills the family. So it kind of turns out that family that looks so sweet and innocent, Brady Bunch, was the one that was torturing her. Yes. And other girls. Yes. And what they you, got a whole chain like of through magic or some shit. I, no, no, so there's different levels. So what you find out is she kills them. There's levels to this yeah. French shit, fam. Yeah, yeah. man, you well, got to get on that French so bread. She kills them, and then she's still going nuts, and then kills herself. But her friend that's in there with her, the, so all of a sudden this like group of all black cars pull up. Hey, and, damn, you went straight to the. Well, uh, what? Okay, go ahead. No, I'm saying you talking about the uh, you got to talk about when she the the reason why she was killing him, and then the girl called her and told her did she check and see if that was the right family or not. She said, "Do you know if it's the family?" Because the girl that was that her uh, orphanage home girl was the one who was telling her that it you got demons. It's not that you're not running from nothing but yourself. And when she yeah, killed, so you don't know if she's making the whole shit up in yeah. her head because it fucks being with you. It fucks with you. That whatever that shit was, that was a. I ain't gonna lie, that was a throw ass monster though, man. Yeah, so this monster's chasing her, but it's imaginary. So yeah. you're like, what the f- did she just make this whole thing up about this family? Uh, who one of those that she, yeah. did she killed this psychologically innocent- fucking with you. That's the thing about crazy people, especially crazy people on film, you never know where it's coming from. So, you never know so what it is. So the reason why she's she's getting into her mortal stages is because they tortured her so much to the where they wanted to make her believe something else was after her. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, what you find out was what I was trying to explain. Um, the All these black cars pull up. And apparently, so she wasn't making it up. That family really was torturing yeah, was her. fucked up. Because they're part of an organization through history that tortures people in, with a specific method in yeah. a scheme so they can reach a certain level of martyrdom. Yeah, man. That's fucking nuts. They're, which... Which over history they had pictures of people. When you're a full martyr, that means you're dead and alive at the same yeah. time. Yeah, eyes are because wide open. Because they're trying to figure out what's on the other side yeah. of life. They think you could. They think you could die and come back and tell them what you uh. saw. And this and so well, she's these Fucking black nuts. cars pull up and explain this to her. So they're they're trying to torture 
the person, so the person becomes the martyr. Yes. Yeah, the person that they're torturing. They, they actually, the in, the, in the bottom of their basement, they have another a chick down there, all metal barred up and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So and I, they, they made her feel that she thought, like, what, roaches or something was attacking her yeah. at all times or some crazy shit? You, you so she, the 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 psycho chick who you think is psycho she kills the family yeah she's seeing this thing you think she's crazy and she's just like a schizophrenic or something yeah but she's crazy and she finally kills herself well her best friend with, that was helping her because she's been a friend since the orphanage she already knew that the she kind of hears something and she she just thinks the girl's crazy and, and the, so when she comes in she's killed the family and all this shit yeah well she hears something in the basement come to find out there's someone being tortured in that basement yeah, yeah. and she's so fucked up there's a metal thing yeah they cut her head hammered they, into they, her they, head they scanned her up and she shit cuts it's, all yeah, like it's man. horrifying dude it's yeah. really legit like so creepy so and she you, realizes oh my god these people torture people yeah. and that's when the organization comes up and ex- and explains what was crazy about to her what's crazy about that when uh when you didn't know what was going on and then like they'll show the monster and the girl and you just see a ram in her head but then they did another view of it it was actually her pushing her head up against the wall herself she was doing the shit to herself so she got up and sliced her fucking neck they, cut her they're torturing throat. you to get you to see things yes and her, what That's she so saw wild. was a demon chasing her yeah but the things they see because they're trying to get to become a martyr they're trying yeah. to make a martyr out of them and they said it happens to young women it's easier with women yeah and it's like where they, they showed pictures over time of them doing it and their eyes are like yeah the psychological part well of it. guess what they just told you their secret now the chick yeah. who's the friend the chick who was trying to get away the martyr. she so they get, start torturing her yeah they get her first of all they when they get her it's so weird because when they get her and they put her in the bottom of this house all of a sudden, you start seeing a lady come down there and doing the same thing, feeding her this slop. Then there's another man come down there and just be beating her up. Then she come down there and cuts her hair. Then the dude come down there and beat her up again. But then when they flash forward up to the top of the house, it's a it's a wife and a husband doing this shit to her. And it's fucking crazy. Because he goes down there and when he skins her, he skins her whole body and yeah, shit. Yeah, she starts... She's so... Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, that's bro. when it's it seems like it's a lot. Dude, yes, that's when it gets trippy because yes. the plot has changed like a couple of times. First you think it's about a crazy girl killing this poor little yeah, family. Yeah, exactly. Then you find out the family's not so innocent, but then you find out they're actually part of an organization and then the the her homie that yeah. came with her to to help her or whatever, they start torturing her. They, start to, they want they her start to become getting into it. It's yeah. like they because they want her to be a martyr. And yeah. they they, you know, they they come every day and they they do it in levels. Yeah, man. And they and so guess what happens? She achieves it. Yeah. And for the first time, oh yeah. shit, she achieves it. But for the first time, they, it's only happened like four times where someone's achieved it in the history. And they or call something. like the whole black mafia up and shit. They all come to that one house just to check up on it and shit. So for the but yeah, there's only, it's only happened four times. But this is the only time where the martyr could actually speak and tell them what's happening. So the martyr tells, you know, the lady who runs it like this is like old fat lady. And the, and the martyr, you know, whispers something into her ear. And then they call all the whole society there and everyone's there, all these like rich looking people in suits to see what she's going to say. And before, should I spoil it? Yeah. So before, like she is, you know, the, so the, her assistant comes up. Did she speak to you? What did she say? And then she just goes before she's she's supposed to make some big grand announcement. The leader of this evil cult. She's supposed to make some announcement. They're all there waiting downstairs, and she goes, "Did she say something to you? What what did she say?" And he goes, "Keep hoping." And she blows her own brain out. So apparently, what she was what the martyr told her was something that afterlife is such a good place. Really? She was like, "Fuck this place. See you there." Jesus. It is so. Intense, man. It seems like a lot, dude. It's crazy. Well, have you seen any other of this dude? So this dude passed. Obviously, it's the type of visual shit that the director probably had a lot of the influence on how extreme it was, right? Mm-hmm. So it's this dude Pascal Langelier, Langelier, Langelier. Uh, he's a French director. 
Have you ever seen the other movie? Have you seen The Tall Man with Jessica Biel? Uh, no, but did he do Incident in the Ghostland? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, I love that movie, dude. Let me see The Tall Man cover. This guy's a badass. Yeah, so Dude, let's get him on the show. Yeah, let's get him on the show. Let's do that. And you say it's Jessica Biel? What year did it come out? Uh, 2012. Oh, shit, we got to check that out. Yeah, we got to check it out. And he made, what are the other ones he made? I see like four over it's there. It's in the ghost lane. You know that one that yeah. I love? What's the other? That's on Shutter. Brotherhood of the Wolf. I don't think it's a horror movie. Mm. Came out in 2001. But obviously this dude's good at making horror. So did horror. he release that overseas first? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and I was kind of reading about it. Apparently, because I, I want to know, I want to know, like, because um, it was so, it was so, like, the, like especially, like, the psychological part of it, because her being, uh, her being trapped into that basement, and then, like, when he came down there, and she, the last level, when he started beating her, then she kind of, like, just started getting submissive to it. Yeah. And it was just to a point to where you was like, damn, dog. She, because the girl was still talking to her. She was like, just give in to, you know, you become important. And it was like, damn, that, that part to me was so like, that caught a part of me like, damn, dog. It's like, because at first she was trying to be strong as fuck. Like, man, I'm, I'm going to take this, man. I ain't finna let nobody. She even tried to fight <clears throat> back a little bit and everything. Yeah. But it's like, after a while, it was just like, fuck it, dog. This big security dark guard. Yeah, man. He And he was like, manhandling her ass and she and like she wrapped in chains and shit and then all of a sudden then you see her go to the bed part i don't know when she went to the bed part i thought she was finna get the same thing with the metal crow with the metal bar across her head because yeah. when she pulled that bar out there like, remember when she pulled the bar out her head yeah. all them staples and shit came out of her head she was trying so to so gross she it to me in that part of the movie i was like man it's to a point okay your friend died i'm not trying to save everybody else right now she could have actually got away from that situation, but she went saved. When she saved that other chick, it's like that's when the people came in and just took over the situation. Yeah. And I, and I was like, damn, dog. And to watch her go, because it, when the people got shot in their car, you thought the movie was kind of like about the end on that. But it like really just picked up to show you how she reached her mortal. And it's like, damn, dog. Bro. Gay was on her ass, It was man. nuts, man. Because remember at first when they was feeding her, she was throwing it up. Then after a while, she started eating that shit. Yeah, dude, the 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 kills were badass. Yeah, because it because so it the starts like a home invasion. Yeah, it was a home invasion. Yeah. but then it gets like it, it starts. I kind of for it's some a, reason I felt like it was kind of like hostily to start, yeah. like hostile or saw, like torture porn. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the chick gets away. Then it kind of turns into a home invasion. Yeah, and then it because she just turned, killed everybody. Yeah, you know why? You're like, man, what the hell is going on? And, and then, then it's like a, a demon thing. Yeah, like a demon's chasing her. I and should, then it goes. That remind me of that little chick Does it show the mama. demon? Yeah. Yeah, it shows that. Is it cool? It shows what oh, she yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it's it's dope as hell, It's like man. the chick from the ring, like, chasing Yeah. Her. Oh. And, but she, like, badass, like, with claws and shit. And she, like, and she, like, because she got her one time when she got her arm and she made, and, like, she did it herself, but she cut her arm open. And they uh, show all that shit, man. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't hold back on none of the gore and, and none of the... You know, this seems like, this sounds like it has an air of uh, <laughs> Pascal's former work. Four <laughs> years before this, in 2004, he released a film called St. Angie. has the same air about it with the confusion, but the to confusion. the point at the end, you know? Well, he probably I, did. It dude, was the same director. I need to go back and watch Incident in a Ghost Land. Yeah, let's I mean, watch that uh, tonight. Watch watch his other movies, The Tall Man, and all that. Because, yeah, I didn't know with Jessica Biel. Yeah. I didn't. Damn, I didn't, that's that's weird. I we slept on it, but yeah. So obviously, this dude's good at making horror. Incident in the Ghostland is my is like one of my favorite movies. And he made wait, oh, damn, year, I ain't gonna lie. What a coincidence year, of that year. Incident in Ghostland is one of my favorite movies. Oh, uh, yeah. So we got this one <laughs> part in the movie that I was Shut like, the fuck? <laughs> that uh, like I think when it came towards the end, <laughs> when it came towards the end of the movie. And um, I think she had to, like, because once she went into her little death world, they kind of, like, brought her all the way out to, like, I don't know what that little bitch she was in. And then when she saw it, she came yeah. back. It, like, turned into, like, a paranormal. Yeah. Or, like, a fantasy. Cause they, yeah, man. Kind of kept you on your toes, toes the whole time. Man, because right? when they showed her again, when she was out, because the, the, the guy, when he, his last part of, of treating on her, he cut all her skin off. Jesus Christ. Like, she was skinless. She didn't have shit. Like, you see, like... See, some red. of that shit's hard to fucking watch. Dude, you know? Bro, it's, it's, it's really... 
It's like it's unbearable for some man. I can honestly say yeah, that. Yeah, if it's you're not, if you're not into extreme shit, this ain't the movie. For yeah, you, man, after a it, minute, after a minute, you're like, what are we doing? Like, yeah, it, it, Jesus it comes Christ. to the point to where it's like, damn, it's not, you know, it's not, it's like it, it's a reality part. And like like Space Bike was saying, it, it had that hostile feel to it because it was like people. And at first, I thought they was gonna come in and, and get their own little mix on what they want to do to. Her. So that's why I was like, damn, all these people finna come in here. But they was just so excited to somebody to finally reach this mortar. And like he was saying, the chick didn't never get to tell you what she said because she just blew her fucking brains out. Yeah. Which to me, that means like that the afterlife is dope. Yeah. It, yeah. Because she told her something and she got excited and she wanted to go meet it. So, bro, that that movie. That movie is wild, man. It stays man. with you. It's yeah, nuts. it definitely does. But so does he, Incident in Ghostland. Yeah, but even when she was, uh, even like when the. Uh, is, is Incident in Ghostland like that? It's kind of like sticks with you like that? Yeah. Uh, and, did and you it, see it? And no, it, I was. Huh? Did you see Incident in Ghostland? Uh, I think, yeah. Did we see that? When yeah. we watched that? A year ago. It's been a while. Wait, hold up. Bring, I'll have to watch it again. That's the one where the girl, so that's the one where the, the mom, the hot mom and the two daughters, they go to like a summer house. Oh, that, yeah, 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 yeah. And that big mongoloid. And was it like the, uh. And that, and that, um. The little, the little, uh, yeah, when they, uh, when she had the dolls and all that shit. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Hey. I and ain't also gonna, psychologically fucked. I ain't gonna too. lie, man. We might have to. We might have to come back and do that one next. Yeah. That 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 shit. That was crazy with that big ass baby and shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this guy, like, yeah, I that need boy, to go, that boy, yeah. brain is yeah. twisted. All his movies are like scary, good, violent, and they're kind of real. But it kind of yeah. I think that's. I think to me, to me personally, like Space Boy was saying, he bring that. Uh, he bring that edge of like a Toby Hooper, because kind of like. Man, this shit could really happen. All this shit happening. The way he yeah. sets it up. Like, it, there's no, like... You know, a lot of times in horror, it can be campy and fun. Yeah, and, it, goofy, and it's like, it's not... That's not there possible. There ain't no goofiness. Nah, man. Because once they bring... Once they bring, like, the Shit elite, gets real and it stays yeah, real. Man, huh? Yeah, man. When they bring them elite people into the house, you're like, damn, dog. What if people really, with all this money... Yeah. ...could do something like this to you? You'll never know. Because it's like, man, nobody... You know, people come up missing every day. So it's like, shit, you never know what somebody... Uh, yeah. joys are but dog it's it, yeah it's one of the movies to where you like damn dog what what really just what went on with this shit yeah and they don't give you no ending yeah it's dude. really not an ending like oh she got away and hell no nah, she didn't get away so it's, dude, it's wild that's it's, it to the guts factors it take it to the guts factors take it to the guts factor and we got one on you factor. you know what uh um, nah. i was just going through I'm gonna let you did guys you go hey, for wait, it. Can I ask you this? Have you seen it yet? That's what I'm saying. Uh, I did watch it. Oh, oh, um, I, wa- oh, shit, I watched God. it alone. He one, he watched watch it, it alone. He did. I watched oh, I know it. Yeah, I, know, I watched yeah. it once with the crowd and yeah. once by myself, and I examined it. He, I guarantee you, when he watched these movies, Layla would be right on the other side. I'm sleeping. And uh, what like, I did I'm was is I wanted to let you guys go to test you to see how much you're. And you know what? I think Pascal would be proud. You guys get good. Hey man, it's it's one it's one of the ones, man. It's like and you definitely <laughs> you definitely could watch it again and and get different. That's one of the movies you watch again. I'm pretty sure you'll see something else oh, that yeah. you didn't see before. Like yeah. uh us. Dude, it's, yeah, cuz you'd be so in awe up. about it, man. Like, yeah. damn, dog, this shit It's fucked up. It, it's real fucked up, dog. You seen that uh, there's like a It's like a us, but there's a TV show coming out that's kind of like Oh us. yeah, the um uh, yeah, I saw that when the people move into the neighborhood or yeah. some crazy uh, shit. Yeah. That's going to be, uh, I think it's actually, damn it, what's the name of that damn TV show? So you taking through the Gus Factors? Number one. Let's keep go. Us, keep us off the phone. Yes, sir. What'd y'all think? Oh, definitely, oh, man. Oh, it just means Zano because Kent didn't want Yeah, Kent didn't. He stayed off the phone the oh, whole low time. Low-key is me, staying low-key. I you, definitely. I, I d- say like 90% or Yeah, definitely. Because, because of the... Uh, the first fact of keeping us off the phone when a little girl running from the factory. Yeah, dude. It jumps right into it. Yeah, it, it definitely it, does. It jumps right into it, which, which, yeah, I, I would even say 95%. Like, I, yeah. I wasn't on my phone. I think I looked, might have looked at my phone once the whole movie. Nah, it wasn't, it wasn't one of the ones that you wanted to miss something. Because, yeah. like, if you miss something, right. you'd probably be like, what the hell just yeah. happened? You don't want to miss something. And we never had to rewind it. Like, so that was a good thing. Yeah, I know I didn't get on the gram when I was watching. Yeah. I just checked up. Because usually if we rewinding it, and especially me, if I see Space Bike on his phone, I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, that's another thing is 
Well, Uh-oh. if you think about it, hey. Hey, that's another thing. <laughs> what you sh- when I invented <laughs> movies back in the oh, movie. Oh, man, that, that table 19. has nothing to do with I'll you, tell you man. One Just thing. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. Hey, so what's number two? When man? I drop gems, you better oh, fucking hold on God. to them. Yeah. But when, what, when they got subtitles like that. <laughs> <laughs> when I drop gems, you better hold on to them. Cause, uh, <laughs> number two, off the riff. Mm. When they're when Definitely. they're I just said off the riff. Off the riff. Yeah. Good yeah, job. Watching a riff rap video. Yeah, it starts off <laughs> Yeah. Starts off starts off with a bang. Yes, definitely. Right right into action yeah. first scene, which compels you into the film story of yeah. cinema. First, first scene. It takes you there. That rip is like that. Any any movie start off with like Instead of somebody saying, oh, how the movies usually start off, you wondering how I got here. It don't, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It, it, it's this girl running, and you like, what the hell just happened to us? So it was just a group in. of us. Yeah. Growing up on the wrong <laughs> side of town. Who ever thought we'd make it this far? And what's, uh, Living in the ghetto. What's, what's three? Uh, creepy, Ooh, creepy slash scary factor. Yes. Yes. Anybody, anytime you're touching people, to me, yep. it's fucked up. Scary. And there was a, there's more than one kind of scary. Yeah. There was a couple jump scares. There yeah. was psychological. There's yeah. like a demon type of thing that she thinks she's seeing. Yeah. Demonic. But then like the the brutal fucked up. That's the shit it. that sticks with you. Yeah. Dude, because it's Definitely. like real. Yeah. Definitely, like, man. You should have seen what they did to this girl. Bro. I don't yeah, ever want. Like, you know what? They was, they was, I'll never see it. Dude, yeah. it's horrible. They was man. beat. They was beating her and shit and just like doing. Sh- and the same thing that happened to the little girl happened to her. So. Excuse me. So she actually got the experience. Like, damn, man, you finna go through that shit too, dude. So four kills, kills and gore. Yes. Number four kills and gore. Yes. Through man. the roof. The yes. kills were brutal. Now to slice your, your own throat to me is like slice what, the throat. Here's she takes the thing: a shotgun. When she shoots and, herself in the head, is that good? Yeah. You, no. When she goes in and kills the family. Yeah. yeah. No. I'm just, talking about. Killing a a little kid point blank with a shotgun. Yeah, boom! It, like he didn't chest. even know what was going on. Shot in the chest. The little girl, she chased her down the room and then like and blasted her and, and shot her too. She shot the whole family point blank with a shotgun. Yeah. And it showed all of the kills. Yeah, Jesus, yeah, crazy. It, it's wild. Crazy. Ending. Chill out, Pascal. Number, Chill out, number bro. Number five ending. Yes. Ending. Yeah. Yes, it ends. I like. I love them in this way. You like that? What the? Well, it's, it wasn't yeah. no closure on it. it. It was like if you notice. Movies with subtitles, you're more invested because you have to be, or well, you'll get we lost. We got it in the English version, so. Oh really? Yeah, that's what fucking he just told cheaters. You at the beginning, you paid three dollars and you. See, when it. I saw it, I oh, saw it. Oh my god! I saw it in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> at the premiere. <laughs> I saw it on the with the I'm not gonna say it was the so premiere. Tell me, tell me you had your, uh, it was in it was in the middle of COVID and they threw a screen up. You and what it the was French call les incompetents? It was the uh, they had a viewing oh at the hey, the, the uh, show you're talking about the Eiffel Tower. We just call it the Eiffel there. The show, and, uh, the show you're talking about is them. That's it. And you know what? It's not by Jordan Peele. They just no, trying. They're trying to copy off this motherfucker. Though. They're trying to steal his style. Yeah, they just took a blueprint of him and, and ran with it. Yep. They actually took one of the episodes out of the uh, the the TV series he just came out. He just did. Uh, Jordan Peele TV series that came out HBO. Fucking Lovecraft country? Yeah. Lovecraft. So they took like a whole episode out of that one and it looked like they're making a movie out of it. I think it's a TV show or a movie. It's gonna, it looked like it's going to be wild because they got the... Ch- but they got the girl from us in there, so I'm thinking this might be like spins off of Jordan Peele people that he worked. That's with. the thing, but they took the whole style, the whole filming, the whole yeah. acting, the whole everything, uh, and they fucking they tried. When to does apply. this actually come out? That damn, that's that's the one to be on the lookout for, man. This comes out. Uh, it just says 2021. Okay. It was coming soon. Dude, and also, shout out to the new Creep Show, man. Yeah. It is phenomenal. Yeah, that's dope. That's my favorite thing on they've been TV putting right out, now. They've been putting out some good, really, really, really good episodes. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, man. Is we it gotta, weekly? April, we gotta, we April 2021. It's going on next man. Month. If, if I'm pretty sure this is going to be out before we go. Yeah. May 14th through the 18th, yeah. man. Gus Podcast will be in Las Vegas. Las Vegas people, pull yes, up man. on us. Hell We're going to yeah. be at the Days of the Dead. Yes, man. Hanging out with 85 Grave, Bobby yeah. Blood, and Lauren Hope Lucifer. we get the hook up with Nick Benson and them, man. Oh, yeah. Nick Brinson and Drew Marver going to be out there. Hell We're yeah, gonna man. We're going to be partying, baby. 
Get the running Pull back at Southwest CJ Graham again, man. Pull up on us at the Days of the Dead. Come say hi. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be a blast. Catch me at the slides going broke. Catch me outside. <laughs> How about that? So, yeah, man. It's definitely. Nah, that's going to be exciting, man. I'm ready for that. Yeah, dude. So that's a, yeah, cause we going out we there. Should an, we should do bring a, man man. a segment at the end of each show called events. Yeah, definitely. I'm with that. So I'm that's an that. event, like and then a, also well, we got June, the one in June. Yeah, and Bass Drop. Shout out to Roy. Yeah, yeah. so we'll talk about that too. But Guts uh, Podcast is going <laughs> back to Bass Drop. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's our that's our <laughs> spot. We love it. <laughs> hey, so uh, that's, home ba- that's the home base. Dog. Are we bringing up the fuckery? Are y'all ready for fuckery? Fuckery. Dude. Are y'all ready for fuckery? There's not yeah. a point in any time of the day that I'm not ready for a fuckery. Everybody got a little fuckery. So just know every time you say, are you ready for a fuckery? You're ready. Fuckery. Fuckery. This week on fuckery. Slacks. Slacks. Slacks? Yeah, Slacks. Man, you heard like the name. The, the pants? No, like the pants. Slacks. Like the pants. Like pants. Pants. You got a when whore. a possessed pair of jeans <laughs> <laughs> yeah. begins to kill the staff of a trendy clothing store, <laughs> Jesus. it's up to Libby. Fuck. And I do, I do. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I wish that could have happened it's, when I worked at The Gap. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to Libby. An idealistic, I can't read, young sales clerk. To stop its bloody rampage. Idealistic. It's a pair of fucking pants. Idealistic. That's possessed by the cotton from some cotton field in, in India that's somewhere hilarious. where some poor Indian girl who was into some voodoo hoodoo got killed in the cotton gin thing and became a pair of pants and goes on a killing rampage. And one of the, it's like they're at like this trendy, yeah, they're like at the gap. <laughs> and it's kind of like, but dude, but, oh, guys, we got a really powerful sales presentation. You know, it's all douchey and gappy, you know, and and there's this pair of pants killing them. And one of the employees is, you know, uh, it has Indian heritage. She's her parents are Indian or something or her parents were from India. And she's Indian, but she's American. But she jams out like that Dollywood music. And all of a sudden, the pants like start dancing and That's shit. That's hilarious. Jesus Christ. But I, ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, though, man. That fucking one kill with a dude, like, in the back of the... He was, like, I guess in the warehouse, and he sliced his throat. The, the, the shit was wild, man. The, the pants are fucking people up. Yeah, yeah. The kills are gnarly. The kills are dope. There's so where'd blood you watch everywhere it? Real good on goal. Shudder. It's new to Shudder. So this shit's on Shudder? Yeah, yeah. Shudder pulled it's it out. It's new to Shudder. They pulled the rabbit Is out. it, like, killer Got Bollywood? One, this is one review. The killer Bollywood pants from hell. <laughs> if you like can't be fun, nonsensical madness, this one's for you. Okay. Write that guy's name down. I'm fucking man, sending I'm him an email. You, man, I wish that could have <laughs> happened, man. I worked like three days at the Gap, man. And the motherfuckers <laughs> like, fuck me over, dog. I mean, one lady I was in there, she was like, you work here? I'm like, no. I just, I'm just here. Like, hey, yeah, I work at this motherfucker, man. Shit. I, I Did you at, see Zeno at the Gap? Bro, I worked, I worked bro, there. Bro, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> bro, I worked two days at Abercrombie and Finch. Oh, my God. And all I left was a Gap where the clothes used to be. <laughs> shit. <laughs> bro, fucking... I'm talking about hilarious, man. I, I was, it was so funny because everybody that worked, that started work with me, like, a, a day later, they on cash rolls. I'm like, man, when I'm gonna get behind that cash roll, they look at me like you would never, never get behind ever. this cash roll. Stay your ass on the floor. <laughs> on the floor selling shit. Retail man. man I just no can't sh- see Zeno in the gap, bro. That dude. shit was. A, and then and then the gap has the nerve to have you on on call. <laughs> the gap has the nerve. Yeah, on call. You on a good hot Friday jigging? You get a call from the <laughs> gap. You. Come you to sweating work. like a motherfucker. You me Chewing your own tongue. You got, ready to get it. You got me all the way fucked you got, up. Damn. Hell, man. It's the shoes of the week, man. It's shoes of the week. Open the rock like a volcano. Me and my partner Zaino. Hey, this is Zaino the Vision. It's shoes of the week. And, man, this is the first time in a long time that we're not doing Jordans this week, folks. Really? Yes, I know Jordan. Thought you were showing me some shit. Nah, what the fuck man. Going what's so, on, what's man? so crazy, man? I had to like jump over. Man, Jordan dropping every I'll tell damn day. You one thing, day, bro. I don't now. like no fucking surprises, I'm bro. I'm like, man, they <laughs> dropping every damn day. So look at this. 
comfortable shoe in the world. You I don't like them. Fight me about it. Let's fight. Fucking surprise. <laughs> The fucking Air Harachis. And I had to do Ooh. I had to do this for guts, man, because it's called the Scream Green. Let me see this. Bro, they are so fucking sick, dog. Yeah, dog. I could tell the way Ken is silent, low key is quiet. They are badass yeah, I and like he wants that a lot. See? Fire, I so like what's that hey, a lot. and then we come to what we were talking about about a month ago. Cause to tell you the truth, I only like one Jordan. Well, two you Jordans. Like the ones you've been I like twelves and ones. Yeah, everything else can suck you like my the ones dick. They look like vans. Yeah, everything else could fucking lick so my gooch. So it says, gooch. "Born at the invent of hands." Of guess who? Tinker Hatfield. Tinker got Man, I looked Hatfield. up that motherfucker's net worth the other day. Oh, uh, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> fucking eighty-five your, million your, your dollars. Your computer go uh, go. I'll go nuts, man. Wait, so he, he made Harachis? Bro, I'm finna get into it for you. Uh, this motherfucker born made the, everything, in, in of hands of Tinker Hatfield, the Al Harachis redefined streamlined perform, performance upon his debut in 1991 by asking a simple question. Have you hugged your foot today? <laughs> Not that all the all-time favorite is back in the OG colorway featuring timeless details, soft synthetic accents, an upper mix, and super breathable Neon print like fabric for easy styling while the silhouette low cuts collar iconic heel clip and booty like construction <laughs> remain oh. in a place in its familiar form. So these are the OGs to drop. This is the first Harachi that you probably saw in 91. And back in 91, throwing lime green, only person probably ever done that was Andre Agassi to throw them wild colors and shoes. And, and that was with Reebok, right? Huh? And he was with Reebok. Nah, he was with Nike. Really? Yeah. Idiot. Yeah. Andre Agassi? Andre with Agassi. With the wings? Yeah, yeah, Andre Agassi. But what's good about oh, this, and what everybody going to love about this, they only going for 120 But the bad thing about it is, I'm only seeing them on Sneakers app. That ain't worth the fuck. That is some bullshit. So what it's like, doing, you got to wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning on April the 19th. Right. And Correction. they range from men's size you gotta three and a half. <laughs> to, I know, right? <laughs> to men's size of 15. And folks, let me tell you this now. If whatever size you wear in your regular shoes, go a uh, foot up in Harachis. I'm really? telling you right now. You can wear your size. It's cool. But go a foot up. And like they say, have you hugged your feet today? I honestly will tell you this. Harachis are the most impressive shoes to wear, man. Well, it's the same thing with the shit. Adidas EQTs or whatever. Yeah. You got to go one up. Well, but the but the comfort level is 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 out as well. Cause when we went to um, horror nights in in fucking Hollywood, uh -huh. bro, the Harachis all day. Cause you you're doing a bunch of walking and your feet are heavy, wide Harachis all day. One twenty, you can't beat it. The color is sick. When they come out, they come out April nineteenth. April 19th. So it's like you April got... 20th, I'll be squeezing my tits into some harachis. <laughs> hey, we're going to be online. We're going to be online like some bots, man. I, I, well, I, def I definitely would love to have patties, so man. So when they come out on sneakers app like that, they only give you one it's, pair, right? It's only, yeah, you only could actually, unless you, that's where the bots come in. If you got like multiple computers open up, you could run it like that. But legally, you they'll only give you one pair, Only right? one pair. So pick wisely. That's why I say don't slip up and get the wrong size and you fucked. You'll just have to resell them. Or just have a shoe on that's going to be kind of snug, but it's comfortable. It's yeah. comfortable enough to be snug. You feel what I'm saying? I get you. But definitely, man, this is guts approved and this is Ain't No Shoes of the Week. week. Yeah. Conspiracy. <laughs> I should have just, just started playing my conspiracy on there. Hey, everybody. It's Loki Esme with your conspiracy theories of the week. I got my Harachis on tight, and I'm uh, kicking Zano's ass squarely out of my motherfucking segment. Hey, <laughs> Kent got a karate suit. <laughs> and, and he doesn't have a belt. I do. I'd be like, what? So, uh, that being said, speaking of karate suits, uh, going by your suggestions, we're going to do... Robert the Doll, a.k.a. The Real Chucky. Uh, that's right. Like most horror movies uh, that are legendary that we grew up with, they the story came and originated from a real thing. And there is no, um, no change with Chucky. Chucky was... The Doll originated originally be belonged to Robert Eugene Otto, an artist who belonged... To a prominent Key West family, the doll was reportedly manufactured by 
the Stief Company of Germany, purchased by Otto's grandfather while on a trip to Germany in 1904 and given to young Otto as a birthday gift. The doll's sailor suit was likely an outfit that was worn by Otto as a child. Okay, that's the what we that's the normal shit about it, right? So the legend comes on, according to the legend that the doll has supernatural abilities that allows it to move, change facial expressions, make giggling sounds. Oh shit. Some versions of the legend claim that a young girl of bohemian descent um gave Otto the doll its gifts as relation to for wrongdoing. And other stories claim that the doll moved voodoo figurines around the wa- around the room and was aware of what uh, went ar- went on around him. Other legend and still other legends claim that the doll vanished from Otto- after Otto's house changed ownership a number of times after his death. So every after he died, every time his house would change ownership, the doll would vanish and go to wherever it would be. So it followed the owner. Then the the doll would follow you. Oh god damn! But but do you know the story behind it? That is the story behind. No, it. so listen, listen. I know about this one, man. Well, let's go for it, fucker. L- listen to this. You can still go see it, correct? Yeah. Know. So you George Bush. So you can go visit this doll today. It's in a museum somewhere. George Bush went and visited, it, and they say like they give you rules to it, and if you come in and don't follow the rules, like. You, you, you taunt the doll and shit like that. Like some kids were doing that. Boom, car wreck. Like weird shit like that happens That's around yeah, the doll. Yeah, it, it says right here that it's caused misfortune, job loss, the divorce, and a cornucopia of misfortunes. Man, that sounds yeah. like a bad weekend so in the third world. This war, kid man. had this doll. <laughs> this kid had this doll when he was little, and he would talk to it, and like bad shit happened. Well, he moved away, and the doll stayed at his parents' house. And he That's was nuts. like, he was like, you know... Um, like getting in trouble, blah, blah. See, he was having problems, so his parents sent him away. So he goes to Europe, becomes a successful doctor, all this kind of stuff. When he comes back, because his parents died, he inherited the house. He's like a smart, intelligent dude. Well, like he reverts to like a weirdo and like starts talking to the doll and like bringing it around in public and stuff. And it's like this. If you read the story, it's like. It's nuts, bro. And that That's thing wild. is in the museum. George Bush went to visit him. I bet he did. Illuminati, motherfucker. You know who else George Bush visited, well, wait, huh? Which, which George? These nuts. Young, Jeffrey, young or old? Which Jeffrey one? Epstein's island. Oh, shit. Wait, which one? Young or old? George? Which one? Young or old? Both. Both old. And I tell you what, that who's worse than Otto and George, Judge the old and young George Bush That's is their dad. Press, don't get me started. <laughs> Conspiracy. Well, here's a crazy thing: is there's a another really really famous doll uh, in ventriloquist company. I mean, a couple called Ottawa Otto and George, and uh, that dude's name was Otto. I wonder if it has something to do with it. I don't have to look that up. That's a good question. Yeah, well, but yeah, man. Anyway, so bro. Go check out the website, man. www.gutspodcast.com. Man, we just dropped some new fire ass merch, man. New God to the gut store, damn, man. I'm telling new you, new guts merch is dropping. So we gonna be nobody dropping. would drip like this. No, we got and the, we dropped the new seal finally. New oh, seal it's bad. finally. It's yeah. badass. We got the mayhem shorts. Yes. In white or black. Yeah. Neon pink. The same mayhem all over them. So dope. Fire. We dropped the Guts green logo shorts. Yeah. Those are the shit. Yes. We got a new Horror Addicts tee. Yeah, man. We got the Goon go Life. Let, go let them Google it, man. Check it out, man. Go let them Google it. Yeah. Until then, Don't it give is them all your no spices, man. Don't sleep. Give them all your spices. It is no sleep till Vegas, fuckers. No, man. No sleep. Till oh, man. And uh, shit. Uh, Space Viking <laughs> gave Anna Woo! three times our design, so we still waiting on that. And yeah. We're we going to reveal it soon. A new, is it a new seal? No, nope. no it's, a, it's a new, just wild design. I'm new get, design. Yeah. I'm it's getting the new nuts. seals tattooed oh, no, we got, square we got, in the center we, of my asshole. We, we, we actually got, uh, we just dropped one. So we actually got about, what, about 10 more left to drop? Something like that in the Yeah, seals? we got all kinds of seals ready. Yeah, man. We Different colors, man. Colors. Y'all going to go nuts when we drop all this stuff. 
And yeah. Wow. No sleep till fucking uh, Brooklyn. No sleep till Vegas. Yeah, man. Go rate and review the goddamn podcast. Yes. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. uh, YouTube too, Leave man. us Check a it out. goddamn comment for our fucking murder you people. And that's the, if that's we the, do, if we bring you any value, yeah, please do it for us. It's free. It's definitely free. If you hate us, then I don't blame you. And I tell you what, I'll hey, leave hey, it up are there. You still, are you still doing your uh, somebody get the the gut seal? You paying for it? Yeah, if somebody. I, and I added How another many days one. You got left? If someone gets the gut seal before I go to Vegas, before I go to Vegas, it's May fourteenth, folks. I'll pay for it. And here's another thing. Can we compete in that competition? The first person to rate and review the podcast on Apple iTunes and say on it say hey low key as me you owe me forty dollars i will venmo you forty dollars boom pal so here's what you gotta do you gotta go on uh apple podcast rate and review the podcast (laughs) rate and review the podcast hey listen up fuckers hey 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 woo hey 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 yeah, uh, big boy talk over here. Here we oh go. Oh my God, this the is, Grizzlies in this is a lot more body. than Jennifer's body. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. It's the nuts and bolts of the internet, there, fuckers. This is what you call marketing one on one. Here we go. So, <laughs> so that full is, of shit. That's sometimes community, <laughs> that's community college marketing, wow. man. So look, you go uh, to Apple Podcasts, you rate and review the podcast. At the end of the review, you say "low key as me" owes me forty dollars. <laughs> then you take that screenshot. And you send that screenshot to the Guts Podcast uh, DMs on Instagram. And I'll fucking Venmo you $40. That's all you got got to say about that. What do you think about that one, old badhead? That's all I got to say about that. Okay. Okay. Mama forgot said life is like a box of chocolates. With that being said, I got to get to a gig. Creeper is and- on his way here. So for Guts Podcast... It's low key as me. Zaino the Vigi. Space, 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 space. And we're out. Uh, I'm Zaino the Vigi. Keyboard ATX and Space Vikings. Yeah. Trying to figure shit out. <laughs> this changed my life forever.